Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel Lee. If it's your first time here, thank you for joining me in my little corner of the internet. Today I have a video all about RMS Beauty, and I'm so excited. I'm just gonna go ahead and pull them out of my little bag here, just so I have it all ready to go for you guys. Um, I bought some of these products from the Sephora sale, as well as purchasing some of these items through the RMS sites, mostly because, um, mostly to get this one product, which was the new, which is the new, um, RMS Beauty Uncover Up Foundation. Um, I did cheat a little bit and get the quad during the sale, so I wouldn't have to purchase individual products, and I could just get a feel for the product. But, yeah, without further ado, let's just go ahead and get started. Uh, when I was starting to do this video, I originally was just going to do use the Uncover Up Concealer as my concealer. But then, shortly after I found out the Uncover Up Cream Foundation was coming out, so I thought, perfect, um... This is a great time to test out another foundation. Inside this uh, uncover up foundation, um, it comes in a box like this and it comes with a little spatula. This is not a first impression I've used this before. I just haven't used that spatula yet. Um, yeah, and then this is what the foundation looks like. It's a lot bigger com in comparison to the concealer. You get one ounce of product, which is pretty much the standard amount of foundation that you usually would get. It comes with a little um, top sealer so that the product won't like spill out. And I do keep that on and I don't throw it away just to, you know, contain the product in there. I have this shade 22 and um, let's just read a little bit more about this foundation. This foundation comes in 16 shades, so not very many shades at all. Uh, I have this in the shade 22, formulated with our signature organic cold centrifuge coconut oil and a targeted blend of oils and herbs. This formula will help improve skin tone, texture, hydration, overall radiance. This foundation works for all skin types and is available in a wide, wide range of shades formulated to easily master a flawless finish that mimics natural youthful skin. Works flawlessly with our cold favorite skin to skin foundation brush and can set easily with RMS powder. This shade that I got, the shade 22, is described as a yeah, wait, what? <laughs> with it, it says it's with, wait, what? I cannot speak. With its yellow base, this shade is great for light, medium skin tones. That's all it says. Um, it was really honestly hard to find my shade, but I just kind of went for it. I watched a few videos online and just kind of went for it. And actually, it is a very good shade match, but I'm kind of confused because it says it comes in a wider range of shades and it only comes in 16 shades. But, uh, you know... Lots of companies still consider like 16 to be a lot, I guess. And I don't know. Anyway, I'm gonna look up what centrifuge coconut oil means because I have no idea what that means. Hold on. Uh, centrifuging is the process of crushing and grounding the coconuts into a slurry after they're shelled. And then the milk is extracted and then the remaining coconut is placed in a high-speed centrifuge that rapidly rapidly spins the content contents through the spinning process the oil is separated from the meat okay so that really that really doesn't matter so basically it's like the most expensive way to extract the oil from the coconut but um i was actually really surprised that a brand like RMS, like a clean beauty, like high-end beauty brand would use coconut oil because coconut oil is very comedogenic. So like it's very prone to clogging your pores and it's not really great for acne prone uh, people. So I was actually really surprised, but I knew it was coconut oil the minute I put it onto my skin because I could smell the coconut oil and I was kind of nervous to try it out. I personally haven't had any problems with it breaking me out, but if you have any problems with like coconut oil like breaking you out, I would recommend you stay away from RMS products just because all of their products I've noticed have coconut oil in them and honestly I do wish <laughs> they would use a different oil rather than a coconut oil because it is very prone to clogging your pores but um, 
Luckily for me, I haven't had that problem, but I would just, all around the board, just rather not use coconut oil on my face and not put myself up for risk, you know? But anyway, so that's the description of this foundation. I'm just gonna... <gasps> start applying this on to my face and I'm just gonna grab a little bit with my fingertips and it, that's hilarious I had no idea but before this was actually a little bit smoother but it's solidified a bit so it's a little bit harder in the glass bottle but that really doesn't affect it and I'm just going to um, apply it with my fingers first and then I'm going to start blending it out with my brush just because I don't want to dip my whole brush in there and this is um, way more coverage than I was expecting when I when I purchased this I don't know like RMS just didn't seem like one of those brands that would have coverage but surprisingly um, it has a lot of coverage it's like a good medium coverage and you don't really need that much of it um, it's not like the most lightweight foundation but it does feel really nice for like dry skin because I don't feel dried out by it my skin doesn't feel tight and that probably is like the blend of oils in there that's just giving that effect on my skin I right off the bat I've used this a few times so I'm not doing a foundation test but um, like a wear test but I don't think this is for oily skin or acne prone people because I don't want to recommend coconut oil to anyone that's acne prone because you just don't know how that's going to affect uh, your skin I just tend to not have very problematic skin except for like around my hormonal area or just around underneath my chin um and that just that i think mostly that's due to the fact that i'm particularly dry and my problems are more with dryness and just not like dullness more than i have problems with um acne and my skin's always just been like that so this foundation i really like uh, as you can see, it's like I didn't even put that much on, but it's really good coverage. It's extremely glowy, so like I said, I don't think this is for all skin types. I think this is for like the dry girls, drier girls, and um, yeah, that's all I really have to say about that. I felt a bit like it was a bit thick on my skin afterwards. Like after like a full day of wear after work and everything, I felt it looked really nice. It wore really nice on my on my dry skin, but at the same time, it felt really thick, and I just wanted to take it off by the end of the day. But for like everyday wear, I really really have been enjoying this foundation, and I just love how it looks on my skin personally. I just don't think this is for everyone, but the coverage is on it is so good and it's so dewy and it's it's really amazing and I was actually really surprised because I honestly wasn't expecting that from RMS but anyway um I'm gonna now conceal just a little bit with the uncover up in the shade 22 with my fingers this product uh, I hear a lot of people compare it to the Glossier um, the what is it called is it just called skin concealer I can see the resemblance as in like the pod concealer and everything but I don't really feel that it's like similar in texture because I feel the glossy is a lot less coverage and it's a lot more luminous almost to the point where it's like an, I don't like wearing it underneath my eyes because I just know it's gonna make my mascara transfer everywhere and it really doesn't do much of concealing so I actually do prefer the RMS one over the Glossier one and I like that it just stays a bit better on my skin and it actually does provide a bit more coverage than I thought it was going to because I, I was afraid it was going to be just like the Glossier one where it literally doesn't do anything just gives you like a sheeny luminous glow I wish the Glossier one would stay like that but it won't it just gets everywhere by the end of the day and then it just kind of disappears but this concealer actually gives you coverage the, sh the foundation is 52 dollars the concealer is 36 dollars 
So yeah, that's how my skin is looking. And then I am just going to go into the bronzer next. This is the Bur. I cannot pronounce this word. Bur. 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 Bronzer. Um, that's what it looks like in the pot. It's a. It looks pretty shimmery in the pot. And it looks kind of intimidating i'm not gonna lie but i think it's just like that top layer that looks more shimmery than anything because once you have it on your skin i don't really see that much shimmer i just see a nice sheen and that's the color it's a bit cooler um and it's it's pretty nice i've been using it and this retails for 28 dollars i'm just gonna grab some with my brush just into there and start around my face. I was actually surprised by this color because I was expecting a, a bit more warmth. But it is actually like a pretty cool toned bronzer. I wouldn't even say like bronzer, I'd say more like a contour color. And that's just a nice little bit of definition. It's really natural looking and it just gives you back like the lost definition from just that using that foundation. And before I go any further, I'm going to dip into this um, RMS Beauty palette. And I've been using this a lot. Um, and just go into this little uh, Cocoa Lip and Skin Balm. I put some on my lips because my lips feel a little bit dry. And I'm just going to apply that. I'm gonna go back into that palette actually. So this is the RMS Beauty Signature Set Mod Collection. I bought this mostly because I didn't want to buy so much RMS like individually because I never tried the brand so I just wanted to you know test it out in a small little compact form in case I didn't like it as much and I'm actually gonna go into this bright um wait this bright blush right here. This is called the lip to cheek and spell. I'm just gonna swatch that for you really quick. And it's just that really beautiful bright coral shade right there. Um, this color right next to it is also a lip to cheek and it's called Smile. Okay, actually, you know what? This might be called this bright one called <laughs> might be called Smile and this dusty mauve rosy toned might be called spell i'm not completely sure okay and that's the blushes right next to the bronzer they're beautiful colors but again these have coconut oil and then you can smell it like i don't i don't know why they went with coconut oil to be honest it kind of frustrates me a little bit because <laughs> i mean i don't really have problematic skin but I also don't want to be tempting fate here, you know? And I do know that some people will, won't be able to use this because of that fact and it's really sad to me because these products are really beautiful and they're a lot more pigmented than you would think, you know? Sometimes with clean beauty natural brands, you just, you just don't get anything from them and it just, it's too natural, you know? But these actually give you a lot of color payment. They stay on the whole day and it just, gives you like model skin. And I've been loving this blush and it actually even got me a compliment at the Sephora store which I was like really surprised by. I can never tell if they're like being really honest at the Sephora store or if they're just like complimenting you just to like get you to buy more stuff, you know? But they did compliment me at the Sephora store and they were like asking me about this blush specifically and like how many times do people like really ask you about your blush you know but i i i really like blush because it just livens up the whole face and makes you look instantly alive and more youthful especially cream blushes because it gives you that like nice 
glow. Um, and it's like my actual weakness. Like I have way too much cream bronzer if I'm being completely honest. But I just can't stop buying them. So I did purchase this in a smaller size. See, and it just gives you like such a nice, useful glow. Such a pretty color. Okay, and then I am going to add um, some of this. Well, this isn't technically a highlighter. This is a master mixer. Um, this shade right here. And then, sorry about my knuckles. So I got some kickboxing. So. Um, because I was being a lazy ass bitch and I didn't wrap my hands and by the end of it I had my lovely little friend here but anyway um so this is the master mixer and basically what this is for is just to like make any like powder products like a cream product um, and then this is actually the highlighter which is the living luminizer which I'm pretty sure is like their most popular highlighter and it's just like a nice clear bomb personally on me I really like this one a lot better and I'll just swatch these for you guys right before I move on. So, I don't even know if that's going to pick up on camera. Hopefully it does, but that's that one I'm going to use on my face today. The Master Mixer at the very end next to that dusty mauve blush. And then the Living Luminizer is like literally just a clear bomb, so you probably won't see it at all really but it just has more of like a frosty finish on me so I just prefer that warmer highlighter tone so I'm gonna go into that highlighter today or mixer and just apply it onto the high points of my cheeks I do really like this palette and this palette retails for $44. There's another version of this palette so if you don't want to go with this one you can go with the other one. And I believe the other one has like a bronzer maybe instead of like two highlighters. But because I already had gotten the Beridi bronzer I didn't feel like I needed to get another bronzer so I got this palette instead and I've really been enjoying this palette. Um, for the eyes I'm going to go into the eye polish in the shade Solar and this is basically like a cream um, like I I don't want to say eye gloss because it's not that glossy it's more like a cream shadow but it does crease I know I say this but a lot of people don't like eyeshadows that crease I personally don't mind I kind of think it looks like a little lived in a little edgy a little cool so I'm kind of here for it but um, this retails for $28 I got the shade solar because I just knew uh, I didn't want to like be adventurous because I, I knew if I got one that was like way out of my comfort zone I just wouldn't be reaching for it and a product like this I want to be reaching for like on the day to day when I'm going to work and I just don't want to think about it I just want to put it on and that's like literally all I've been using it for like in the mornings when I get ready I just slap this all over my eyes call it a day put some mascara on and I'm I feel like put together and actually this whole look I've been putting on before I go to work and I actually I've been getting compliments on it and it takes no time at all but I'm just gonna apply that with my finger And you can apply like a eyeshadow base underneath, but it's not like completely necessary because it is pigmented enough where it, it does cover all your veins and all your little things on your eyelids. Isn't that beautiful? Like seriously, that's so freaking pretty. And it's done in like two seconds. I'm just gonna apply some underneath my eyes. Cover up concealer in 22 and just um, with a clean finger 
clean up a little bit around my eyes because it did get a little messy there. And this is um, the eye polish in the shade Solar right at the top, right there. So beautiful. Okay, and that's like really just the quick rundown of the face makeup. Um, I did not get the mascara just because I just know at this point in my life I don't really want to buy high-end mascaras if I'm being honest because I go through them pretty fast and if they're not waterproof they don't they don't lift my eyelashes up so I don't really feel like for like my full faces I'm going to be purchasing like mascara or or um, brow products anymore just because I, I never feel like high-end mascara is worth it and brow products I just stick to the same thing and I don't really want to change it up too much but I am gonna come back for the lip color so I'm gonna put my eyebrows on put some mascara on and then I'll be right back to apply the lip color oh, and with the br what <laughs> the RMS Beauty Wild with Desire lipstick in the color brain teaser and I forgot to mention I also drew some freckles on with the Fenty Beauty um, brow MVP just because that foundation is pretty good coverage so it covers my freckles and I just like the look of like my freckles kind of like showing through so I just like lightly penciled those back in just because I wanted it to look more natural but I'm just gonna go ahead and go in with this color called brain teaser and and it's this really pretty terracotta peachy nude It has a slight scent to it. It's not the most pleasant thing in the world, but the color is really pigmented and it's a really nice color. Okay, and this is the finished RMS full face look. my final thoughts so I really really like a lot of the things from RMS my favorite thing I think has to be either the palettes or the foundation this foundation of all the foundations I've tried lately is my favorite foundation uh, I hate that it has coconut oil on it because I feel like if it didn't have coconut oil and it had like a different oil instead, it would be my favorite foundation ever. That's because um, even though it does feel kind of heavy at the end of the day, it doesn't really feel that heavy initially. Um, it feels really moisturizing if anything and it has a really good coverage. It's a good solid medium coverage. It gives you insane glow, but not too much to the point where I feel kind of oily and disgusting. or. Like, at least not until, like, I've worn it for a significant amount of time, like, 13 hours or something, like, crazy. But for the most part, I just feel moisturized. I just feel dewy. I just feel really radiant. If it didn't have coconut oil, I would like it even more. It is a pricier foundation. It's $55, I mean, $52. But um, considering how thick this formula is and how, like, little you actually need of it, I feel like it'll last a long time, and I feel like of all the, like, foundations I've tried, this is my favorite foundation. I just don't think it'll be for everyone, especially if you're acne prone, if you're oily skinned, I think you'd want to stay away from this, and, or even if you have, like, problems with coconut oil in general, stay away from this, um, because coconut oil is pretty, 
like highly comedic, comedic, uh, ah, comedogenic, so it can have a tendency to clog your pores. But personally, I haven't had any issues so far, but I will keep you guys updated on if this does end up breaking me out. But right now, it's great, and I love how it looks every time I wear it. I just feel really fresh, really perfected, but also very natural at the same time. It's really nice. And then probably like I feel like these are these two are tied like I can't choose which one I like more than the other um, This one I like but again wish it didn't I wish it didn't have what what <laughs> I wish it wasn't made of the coconut oil I feel like this is really versatile but mostly I really like that I can use every single thing in this palette and I don't feel like um, like one thing is unnecessary like it's really beautiful um, this is more of like a bright blush that I can wear if I'm going for like a more like natural like flushed look whereas this one I could really wear with any kind of look if it was a dark makeup look I can wear with it I can wear it with like a more natural makeup look it's really versatile both of these blush colors are beautiful and the highlighter colors are beautiful as well it's the kind of highlight that I like it gives you a more of a doom Doom, why do I keep saying duminous? If I say duminous one more time, I'm just gonna, I guess I'll just go with it. Okay, so it gives you a duminous view. A duminous view, a duminous look. So it's very, really glossy on the skin. It's really glossy on the skin. It doesn't give you any shimmer. It just makes your skin glow, like, from within. And that's really what I'm into. I don't really like, 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 stark metallic highlighters. It's just not my, not my thing. I just like my skin looking like I'm naturally highlighted so I prefer this type of highlighter and I really 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 like these two um today I used the more like warmer color this isn't technically a highlighter I just use it as a highlighter but uh, sometimes I'll just mix the two and it will give you more of an like a more like of a dewy intense look and I like that too um, I don't love this for the lips but I did use it today and, and actually um, my lipstick does look better because I used it today because it does add um, some moisture into my lips and doesn't make it look as dry because that lipstick is a bit can be a little bit drying but yeah this palette I think is really good and, and honestly um, I didn't think this was going to be one of my favorites. I just really got it just to try and I'm glad I did because I like everything in this palette. Then I have the Eye Polish Solar. This is really beautiful. As you can see, it gives you that really intense, sheeny, like, like, like glossy kind of eye polish finish. It's exactly how it sounds. It's a cream shadow. It creases, but... I really like the way that this looks and every time that I wear it, it I get compliments and it looks really nice. Um, it's not like the a long wearing eyeshadow by any means but for the day to day to go to the office it's great. It's really pretty on the eyes. It just makes you look like, like you tried but you also didn't try you know. Just one nice really pretty color all over the lids. It's just kind of like what I like so. If you don't like eye eyeshadows that crease, if you don't like this type of product, just stay away from it. But I haven't so far found a way to make it work without uh, making it crease. I've used it with the Anastasia eyeshadow primer, and I've also used it used it on a just a like a plain no base lid and both ways crease. So um, if I do figure out a way to make it not crease, then maybe I'll let you guys know. But I don't mind it creasing so just be wary of that but I really like the way that this looks I think it just makes me look so awake and yeah I just really like it and it looks like I did more than like one eyeshadow which is pretty cool I feel like it'd be really good for like the beach or like no makeup makeup days I mean I mean clearly this is not like a really no makeup makeup product but for me I really love eyeshadow so this is what I would wear for more natural day and then um the things that were just like okay to me like i could live without were the uncover up concealer in the shade 22 this is nice like it's a good concealer like i i think i'll keep it and continue to use it and have it in my collection personally for me i don't know what it is but i don't love like potted concealers that much but i will say i do like this more than the glossier one because 
it gives you more cover it just stays on a little bit better and it is like a more dewy finish so I do like that about it but it's not as luminous as I thought it was gonna be so yeah this is good but it's like not like blowing me away by any means like the foundation did like when I put the foundation on I was like oh damn like <laughs> I really like this fuck um then I have the Brody bronzer. At first I really hated this product, but now that I've used it a few times and gotten used to using it, I do think it's okay. It's still not my favorite because it is on that cooler side. I wish it was more on like, like a more warm side, but you know, it's not bad. I do like the way that it looks overall all together with the RMS products, but um, not like it didn't like wow me by any means it was just okay and i would wear it just because i have it but it's not like anything groundbreaking so yeah that's the pretty bronzer and then this rms lipstick i don't love the the smell of this or like particularly like the formula that much well I do like the formula because it's really pigmented and it's really um, comfortable and long-lasting but at the same time like sometimes like when I don't wear like a lip product that's like moisturizing underneath it can be a little bit dry but I love this color this color is what makes me love this lipstick so much like I I just tend to go for like more brown peachy nudes and this is one of those colors I reach for all the time <clears throat> I reach for all the time it's like my everyday my go-to I just like wearing this type of color on on like my lips because I feel like it livens me up it's flattering and I just think it really goes with my skin tone and when I was wearing it my the Sephora employee like commented how my blush went really nicely with my lip color and I was wearing these two together so I was like hmm okay so yeah I, I, I noticed I have been reaching for this I do like it it's not my favorite formula or favorite scent by any means but it might be because it's a clean beauty brand maybe it's just all like natural products so yeah overall I do like RMS as a brand uh, I, it kind of confuses me Cause I like when it comes to clean beauty brands I'm kind of like iffy sometimes because natural isn't always better for your skin for like just like in this instance coconut oil is really poor clogging luckily for me I don't really have intense like acne issues but if it were somebody that were like having like acne issues and thinking oh like this is a clean beauty brand brand, bleh, brand. this is a natural brand I'm gonna use this because maybe it's the chemicals or whatever that's in makeup products that's making me break out like this could make you break out just because of the fact that there's coconut oil in it so I just want people to be wary of that but yeah that brings us to the end of my video thank you guys so much for watching if you guys enjoyed this video please like comment subscribe and I'll see you guys next time bye